have a skills that need some attention, and the time for it is 46 minutes. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. My name's Chad, and I'm not who I thought I was. In fact, if it wasn't for the few experiences I've had, and the things that I've learned over the past couple of years, I might very well have no idea at all. Firstly, I want to say a big thank you to the club for fitting me in tonight. Tonight is a night that I've put off for 10 years, and for a long time was never going to happen. So again, thank you for the opportunity. I'm going to tell you tonight a little bit about the challenge I've had growing up, how that shaped who I am today, how that has brought me here today, and then I'll share a couple of beliefs that I've come to accept as true as a result of those experiences. So who am I? Anyone, anyone ever ask themselves that question? Anyone ever notice there's actually a voice that answers back? Just further compounding and confusing that initial question. I realise throughout our lives, our particular roles change. We, our environment can define us. Work can define us, relationships. For me, at one point in high school, I was my hair. I had the most ridiculous, high maintenance, unworkable hairstyle. The reason of which escapes me and the subject of probably making another speech entirely. But before that, I was a stutter. And if you had asked me back then, I wouldn't even have been able to say that because I was so desperately trying not to be one. And I was so horrified about sounding like one that I wouldn't even let myself do that. I was just lock up. Couldn't get a word out. At least I wasn't stuttering. So my solution to this problem at that point was threefold. Number one, my voice beaten. Just seemed fairly logical. Number two, if you have to speak, stall. Use your ears, your arms, look away, fill the words, whatever you can come up with. Number three, word substitution. So many conversations I had where seemingly wouldn't be saying too much, but my mind would just be just trying to grab the words that I could say and construct some semblance of a sentence that would vaguely resemble what the hell I was trying to talk about. All three of these approaches, though, were heavily based in avoidance, holding back, and all three made the problem worse. In my mid-twenties, I was fortunate enough to get involved with the Maguire program. Here's a program run by stutterers for stutterers. Here I learned a new speaking technique. They preach non-avoidance. They preach facing your fears, no holding back. They teach a few public speaking techniques, many of which I'm using tonight and hope to expand upon. But one uh, experience there quite early on, a few days in, first course, they had you hop up and speak to just probably four or five people but pretend you're speaking to a group of children and allow yourself to be animated and let yourself go. Whilst it wasn't a cure, and I'm not cured by any means, in that moment, the stuttering just completely disappeared. Leaving me to reevaluate again, well, who am I? I'm not a star. So let's see, what have I told you tonight? I've told you about the challenge I had growing up. 
how that had me immersed full time in that question, like, what does it take to speak? And then a bit later in life, as I realised that perhaps I'm not my stutter, it's not a physical problem, the question changed to, well, what does it take to express myself authentically and openly and freely in any and all situations? Which is why I'm here tonight. And a large part to who I am today. Um, to summarise all that, a couple of beliefs I've taken out of all that, and there could be many. Just a few that I just thought of as I was thinking about what to say tonight. Number one, avoiding a fear only reinforces it. And number two, life does indeed begin 